today we're looking at this uh, boss that I've created. Uh, this is the strengthening piece that goes on the side of the stabilizer leg on my tractor. Um, the bushing was missing and the metal had been elongated so the steel was way bigger into an oval here and so I've cut that off and I made a new piece. I welded together two pieces of half inch steel and then I used a Milwaukee hole saw which went through it extremely well I thought. Um, it cut right through one inch of steel um, and then I replaced the um, taper with a adapter taper that holds this boring head that I bought. It's a Char's boring head. Uh, seems to perform okay. Um, the Allen wrenches and the Allen screws are a bit cheap and I'm probably going to replace those if I use this anymore. Uh, yeah, I know. Machinists are all um, cringing at the um, setup I have here. Well, I don't have an end mill or a, a bridge port or something that will go through this the way you're supposed to. But I do have some micrometers and I've measured the outside of the bushing and it's, it's, it's like a, uh, looks like uh, two, two and a quarter. got about two and a quarter yeah it's pretty much exactly two and a quarter and so the hole I have to have it has to be smaller than two and a quarter by about seven to twelve thousandths of an inch so that it'll hold this bushing in place and how we're going to do that is to measure my inside micrometer see that this is an inside micrometer and right now it's way too small as you can see and that's about the size that I have right now and that's that's right a little bit bigger than that uh, as you can see there's quite a bit of play there still so I have to go bigger than this and here's what it's like to use a boring head with a, I have a TPGB uh, bit in there, it's very sharp, it's carbide, um, it was C6 until I broke that one, and so I ordered some more, the other ones were one and a half, these are twos, so they're a little bit thicker, the middle number in the code stands for the thickness. Uh, T, T stands for triangle uh, and, and the GB defines what type of uh, countersink it is for the screw. I forget what P is but there's charts online you can look those up to see what you have. You can't just stick any bit in your boring bar. And this is the boring bar. Oops. That's the boring bar and that goes right into the boring head. There's different spots you can put it in uh, and you can even put it in the end for real big holes. And the boring bar that you get that holds these um, inserts has to be, um, the, the inserts that you get have to be made for that type of boring bar. So if you want to get a different type of bit then you have to get a different boring bar and uh, those all fit depending on the size of the boring head. This is a half inch and it's got flat sides on the front and the back uh, so that you can tighten on, the, on those with the Allen screw. Okay, so here's what it's like to bore with a boring head in a drill press. I've increased the speed a bit to be able to make a more smooth cut. Uh, I'm not real interested in a perfectly smooth, smooth cut as the bushing is going to get pressed into it, so I just need it the right size. There's a bit of chatter.
20,000 and we're, we're there. So we're very close. So I'm going to take one more pass. Now you have to remember when you're using a boring head and you're adjusting the dial on the boring head, it has dimensions on there too. These are kind of backwards. Okay, as you can see there, it's at about two and a half thousandths. Now if you're going to cut one thousandth, you have to turn it a half thousand. So I'm going to turn it a couple thousandths here, and that makes four thousandths because you have to double it because it's cutting on both sides of the opening. Yes, I realize that's not a fine finish like you would get on a mill, but it will do for holding this bushing in. So this is what it looks like in a drill press to have a boring head operate in a drill press. Hi, as you can see this is the strengthening steel that I put in here. Uh, I have a new pin uh, and the bushing was all inserted in my other video. But I delayed uh, uploading this video for quite a while because uh, there was a problem because this leg was wobbling back and forth really bad and I thought my uh, project had gone down the drain and wasn't uh, hard enough steel or something but we kept using it I said we're not going to ruin anything anymore and uh, we were stumping and uh, we noticed that the pin was working its way out and that was quite concerning to me as I looked at the other side and the pin was still there on that side too and so it wasn't actually my project that had gone bad it was the pin a two inch pin that broke in half and so once I got that replaced which wasn't easy the uh, leg is stable again and the project of replacing the strengthening steel actually worked really well so that's an update But we kept using it, I said we're not going to ruin anything anymore, and uh, we were stumping, and uh, we noticed that the pin was working its way out. And that was quite concerning to me, as I looked at the other side, and the pin was still there on that side too. And so it wasn't actually my project that had gone bad, it was the pin, a two inch pin, that broke in half. And so once I got that replaced, which wasn't easy, the uh, leg is stable again, and 